Hello, so I wasn't actually planning on do, uh, doing a live stream today, but I thought I'd do one uh, as it's the first of the new year. This is a Polish MP5. So I'll just wait for a few people to get in. I'll send Weapon Collector a message on Twitter and see if he wants to join if he's around. The camouflage is French, the mask is um, Polish, although the mask is originally a French design, but it's the Polish version. Yeah, that's strange, isn't it, Rich? Some days you don't get a notification and two come along at once, a bit like a bus. Yeah, this is fixed. Beastor sent me some replacement parts for it, so I replaced the bit that was damaged on this, one of those bits on the side. Uh, do you mean the GSR? I wouldn't say the GSR is a good mask, but if you're getting it for free, I suppose you can't really complain. Alright, what other messages have I had? Yeah, so, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I already said this is French camouflage. It's French Central European pattern, whatever they call it. Now you can see the eyes of the person in this mask pretty well, because it's obviously got the panoramic lens on it. Well, the new year's only just started, hasn't it? So uh, it'll be 364 more days till I can evaluate how good 2019 is. But I didn't do anything special for um, New Year's Eve, if that's what you mean. Yeah, happy no longer 2018. <laughs> but at the moment, it says there's only 17 people watching. That's quite low for when I do a live stream. Generally, I get 30 plus, so we'll see if a few more people join in a minute. No, I've never played Ghost Recon Wildlands. It could be this filter was leaking charcoal, or it could just be a coincidence. Yeah, the XL valve's there, so it's the closest one to the microphone. Because the microphone's there, um, if I point to it. That's out of frame, hang on. Can you see my finger now? Yeah, the microphone's there, so... Um, and it's angled at my face, but yeah, the valve's the closest side to the microphone. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of Pulp or Oasis, I know it's like Britpop kind of stuff, but uh, it's not really my kind of music to be honest. I have um, the IP4 rebreather as well. Yeah, that's an L1A1 SLR, which is the British file. Uh, I've not made MRE packets specifically to be used as rations, but I've obviously packed a lunchbox, which is kind of like a homemade MRE. That's my favourite deactivated one, although annoyingly it's got it's not like a super one you can do loads with. Uh, like the Lee Enfield out of all my deactivated guns is the one you can do the most with in terms of like working the bolt and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the MP5 I'm wearing. Cool. 
Is that a deactivated one or is it one that actually works? The yeah. SA80. I assume it's an L85, but which model? I've not even heard of Atomic Heart, is that a game? You can have a semi-auto 22 long rifle rifle, so you can have like a Ruger 1022 in the UK with the right license. Because I generally on a different stream wear a different mask, and I've not worn this one on the stream before as far as I'm aware. Probably for the UK red squirrels, I would guess, in terms of them being nearly extinct. Uh, they're the anti-fog inserts you got in that tin, but they're probably long since dried out and useless. Uh, I think it predates the PMK folder. Now the BEM 4GP has the bit underneath where you can like twist it to change how the filter goes on the MP5s or like a single thing. The filter always goes at the bottom of it. Then this side's got the drinking tube connector on. I'm going to just get the cover closed back up on there. There we go. Yeah, um, I know which masks you mean like that. They had a variant of the SHMS that had a different um, voice diaphragm on for rocket operators, and there was another one that was like an SHM-66, like a GP5-style mask. I don't know what you mean used from yesterday, because I didn't do a video yesterday. I did a stream on Sunday, if you're on about the Fairbine site. This is, um, as I said before, a Polish MP5, which is a, um, uh, basically a licensed copy of a French mask. I think a couple of other countries use this design as well. Uh, the tick in you're referring to might be the radiator in the PC, like the water cooler, because that ticks a little bit. Uh, now, as I said before, the GSR is a bad mask. I don't like it at all. Uh, it depends. Are you in the US? An M40 in the US should be around 30 to 50 dollars, I guess. Cheers, Veronica. Uh, well, I've done lots of videos where I recommend masks, so I'd recommend watching those, and then, you know. Uh, well, when you say an SCHMS, you mean an SHMS, because that's just the East German name for it. But, um... About £30 at most, I guess. No, I've not read any uh, of stuff like that, Richard. I'll take the mask off in a minute, just so I can chat a bit easier. There you go. Um, no, I've not read any um, sword fighting manuals. Of course, my hair's sticking up funnily now, look, because of the... Um, I've had the mask on. 
too long for my liking. Need to shave it off again soon. I did order a Bokken today though, so I'm going to get a practice sword and I'm hoping one of my friends is going to order one as well so we can actually do proper sparring with it. So we'll just wear like a helmet with face protection, like riot helmets, and then we can properly have a go at sparring. Already said it's a British Fairbairn Sykes knife. I don't know exactly what masks you've got, Alex, but um, um, trying trying to think if there's anything particularly interesting that's on the surplus market that's sort of easy enough to get hold of that's quite good. You see that masks put like the weird marks around my eyes where it obviously sits tight for the oral nasal cup. I just got the M50 on eBay. It was on an auction, nobody else bid on it, so I got it for the starting price, which is £50. You now, it's probably not a good idea to wear them in public, so that's all I'm going to say. I, I'd love to get a Serbian M3, yeah, but I've not seen any pop up on eBay. Yeah, Polish SR1s are weird masks, aren't they? But they're interesting. You know, Moss and the Gamp's fine. It's if you want like a bulk standard, you know, bolt action rifle, there's nothing wrong with it. No, I don't have a Polish MP6. The Polish MP5 is the most recent Polish mask I have. No, I've not heard of a GP20, but I might have seen it if it's one of like the, you know, like a PK, PKM, PPM88 kind of masks. Yeah, the SR one's like the head wound um, sort of hospital mask where it ties around your neck. Yeah, FM12 for $40 is a very good price. Uh, it's not an AK-47 because it's not the same calibre. I'm just wondering what year this MP5 is from, actually. Does it say on there? No, 2010, by the look of it. Well, there's another thing that says 99, so I don't know if that's... It was produced in 1999, and it was... They recommended removing it from service in 11, 2010, or if it was made in 2010, but there you go, you might be able to see that on there. If I can get it into frame again. Um, it depends on the mask individually, but in theory they could last, you know, decades. Because if they're made from rubbers and plastics, they're not exactly things that expire unless they're damaged. Yeah, happy 2019 for people just joining. I did sort of say that earlier on, but happy 2019. <laughs> Yeah, there's, um... That's the thing with a lot of those manuals, I suppose the modern ones are probably copyrighted, aren't they? I did do a video with your bill hook today, Richard. It wasn't using it outside, but it was just talking about pole arms for sort of uh, without rule of law kind of stuff, because I think they'd actually be quite useful as a general survival tool. There's only nine people watching now. That's very low for a stream <laughs> when I do them. I suppose a lot of people today might be hung over or doing stuff, I guess. If I don't get loads of people on, I'll probably not go over half hour on the stream, because otherwise I don't know if it hurts me on YouTube if I've not got enough people watching. Uh, yeah, I've seen the Turkish S6 masks, because some of those are in grey and white rubber, aren't they? I don't know what you mean by it's two streams. Um, there are there are some, but not many. 
especially if you mean like one civilians have a have access to, yeah, not many. Um, I've always said eBay for getting a gas mask because there's loads on there. I thought a plate carrier would be quite good. No, I don't really watch Life of Boris videos, so I wouldn't have seen something you just showed on there because I think I've watched like one or two of his videos. Yeah, but there's only one stream currently going on, so it's not like people are watching one and not the other. But that's YouTube obviously breaking. And it says 8 for me. Let me just refresh the window. And it still says 10. Hoods are faster to put on if you mean helmet style masks like a GP5, but straps are actually better if you want a comfortable fit. No, I'm just about over 50k, so I'm not at 60k yet. So is it streaming twice somehow then to YouTube? It's very strange if it is. That probably means there's an entire load of chat messages I can't see if it's doing two lots of streams somehow. Hmm. Let me have a look on my phone and just go onto my channel on my phone and then see what it does. Yeah, I can see there's 41 people watching one live stream and 9 watching the other. So, yeah, that's somehow broken. I'll just delete one of the streams once um, it goes off. But it's the same chat on both of them. It's very strange. I have no idea why it's doing that, because obviously I am only doing one stream. I'm doing it the exact same way I'd normally host it. So I guess YouTube is just broken. Very strange. Doesn't make any sense. Well, there's not two streams running. It's obviously YouTube that's broken because I'm obviously only doing one stream. Yep, yeah, that's an SLR. I've done videos on that, Connor. You can still use an expired one, especially if it only ran out like two years ago. Especially if it's, um, you know, like sealed properly, it's going to work. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, though, both the, um, things have the same, um, chat on them. So I really don't know why it's displaying it as two live streams, even though it's obviously one stream. Very, very strange. Oh, not a live one, no, because I'm in the UK. Yeah, doesn't make any sense, because using, um... What's it, how I'm streaming, it's just doing it via, um... OBS Studio. Doesn't make any sense, but... 
it's, it's YouTube that's glitched somehow, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter which stream you're in, because obviously it's the same live chat. But what I'll do is when it goes live, I'll delete the one that gets the less views. But, no, I don't have any Lithuanian gas masks. I mean, some of my Russian ones may in fact be Lithuanian, but most of, like, Lithuania, Estonia, etc. during the Cold War just had, um, Soviet masks. Uh, if I got one cheap, yeah, but I think the activated L85s cost generally like a few grand, so I wouldn't pay that for a rifle. Um, I don't think that's a real mask. I'll actually look up again his thing, but I have a feeling the Psychomantis mask is actually, like, not a real one. I think there's that US mask called the M45 or something, or the XM45 that looks a bit like it. Yeah, the US M45 gas mask is probably the closest one to what he has. Especially the ones with, like, the uh, orange lenses on them. Or, like, the outserts. So I'd say an M45 gas mask for Psychomantis, but I don't think it's, you know, a real mask, so it's where they've obviously taken liberties with it. Uh, an FN Mag's a machine gun, 7.62 machine gun. I don't think there's clones of the Israeli masks, but there's clones of the Draeger Simplex or whatever, which are the Israeli masks, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've got no real interest in Metro. Um, Exodus, as I said, when it's out and it gets a bit cheaper I might get it, but otherwise I'm not really interested. Yeah, they've said Stalker 2 is coming out in 2021, but I don't know if it will be any good because it really depends on if any of the original developers work on it and if it ends up being a good game, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath. Um, well, 7.62x39mm doesn't have that much more power either. It's because it's... Like, if you compare an AK-74 to an AK-47 round, it's essentially very similar casing, like amount of power behind the cartridge, or the bullet. You know, 7.62 NATO is a totally different sort of power. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a more recent one than the five-year-old video. Yeah, I've got no real opinion on it um, to do with cadets, to be honest. Uh, it was originally cancelled, then they said they're developing it again, but a lot of the people in the development team are not the same ones who originally made the Stalker games, so... You know. Uh, I've played both Metro Last Light and 2033. I played them in the order they came out. 2033 first, then Last Light. Then I played 2033 Redux, I think, like last year. And it was okay, but... Isn't that Metroid, though, Richard? Rather than Metro.
Yeah, that's that's what I'm sort of thinking with it. It's going to be not many of the original developers working on it. And, you know. I mean, I hope it's good. Don't get me wrong. I hope they release it and I hope it's a good game. It's just I'm not going to hold my breath and, you know, expect it to be an amazing game if there's not going to be that many of the original people working on it. Avon's a British company, although they've got an American factory as well. Now, any full face mask with a particle filter would be fine, it wouldn't really wouldn't matter. I think I've said before, when it comes to like just protecting yourself from dust, any full face mask is fine. Just whatever mask fits you fine. Um I find the Cold War in general pretty fascinating, but that's not a specific war, is it? Um, I'll try and think. Yeah, there's nobody saying that in the stream. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. An AR-10 is a rifle, isn't it? Not a mask. Unless you mean a different kind of mask than the one I'm thinking of. What In what time period? If you mean modern Egypt, then they've obviously got masks, because pretty much every country buys masks. I don't think they produce their own. I think they have um, Soviet ones, from what I've seen. But I've seen pictures of Egyptian soldiers with... Um, Oh, that one, you mean the M10. Oh. Oh, 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 I see what you mean. Or do you mean like the SF10? Because I've not actually heard of one of the AR10, but... Um, if Is it a version where you're meant to be able to unscrew the filter port? Uh, like the other one. If it's got the thing on where you can unscrew it, it just means you need to put more force on it. Um, if it's one where it doesn't unscrew, then obviously you can't unscrew it. That's the French one. It's alright. It's similar to US Woodland though, isn't it? It's um seems alright. I got it from the army surplus a while ago, but I haven't got around to doing a camo test video of it yet. Oh, if it's one that definitely unscrews, then you're not gonna break it if you force it. Because it's obviously a bit the screw bit is gonna give easier than the actual thing breaking, but totally up to you if you wanna try it or not. Yeah, this stream says there's only five people watching now, so I don't know what the other one says, but obviously YouTube is only showing me this one as um, the interface. Um, I'll have to wait till I get one, another one, to do a review on. So that's probably around 35 to 40 people, which isn't too bad. It's just annoying that, for whatever reason, I'm seeing the one that's barely got people on. The M65 is fine if it fits your face properly. If it doesn't, then it's no good. If you mean the US Mickey Mouse mask, you're not going to be able to get one. It's the rarest mask in the world. There's only like two in existence or something. One's in a museum, one's in a private collection. There's probably a few more than that, but... Again, they're all in private collections, or in museums. Um, I haven't actually had a holiday from work, if that's what you mean. If you mean, did I enjoy Christmas and everything? Sure, nice to see the family, but it's also a bit exhausting. Christmas and everything. Oh, the British version. You might be able to get a Canadian one. Or you'd have to find somebody be willing to ship it to the US, but um, 
I'm sure if you paid enough, somebody would do it, but you'd have to find somebody who's selling one in the UK or Canada and then willing to ship it. Um, well, you shouldn't take stuff from Chernobyl. I mean, I'm sure people do take stuff from there and smuggle it out, because, like, scrapping stuff in Chernobyl used to be a bit of a business, but... Um, you shouldn't do it. And it's not a sensible thing to, you know, just take radioactive um, souvenirs, I guess. Do you mean how many different types of US masks did they make? A lot. Um, um, I've probably bought a few games I've really regretted buying. I don't think in terms of military there's been much I've regretted buying. I did buy some 20mm sights at one point that were really stupid because they didn't actually fit on 20mm rails properly so that was like a really stupid thing to buy or you know just a poorly made product in a sense because I always like the 20mm things where one side comes completely off so you can push one on and then obviously put the other one there and screw it back up but this is one where um, essentially you couldn't actually take the other side off so if the rail was slightly too thick in one place, it wouldn't go on the rail at all. Now, somebody had asked me, could I do a video where I put the Geiger counter next to some masks, and I'll do that, but it's not going to be interesting because none of the masks are radioactive. I didn't even have to do any travelling for it, it's just I find it a bit exhausting when you have to, you know, spend a couple of days constantly seeing people and chatting to people. Well, they're not toxic, but they do contain asbestos in the filters. But there's, yeah, there are sellers that will lie and say that, oh no, it's a totally safe one, no asbestos in here, when there obviously is. I think carcinogenic's the correct term, isn't it, rather than toxic? I think it's just started raining outside by the sound of it. Right, I'll do a few more minutes on the stream, but um, I won't stay on for ages. Um, the easy way to... Well, how I do it is just... If I've got a load of masks that fit me, and generally size mediums fit me, I'll get the equivalent of medium in pretty much all masks. So if it's a number system and it's like 1 to 4, you know, like 2 or 3 is going to be the medium sizes. If it's SM or L, medium is medium. Um, I imagine if you need the largest or smallest sizes in some masks, that would be more difficult. And of course, some masks just won't be comfortable regardless of the size, because they're designed for certain face shapes. So if you don't have that face shape, they're not going to fit you well. Um, I'd say probably 10 miles from a decent sized city. There's a very big village that's only like a mile and a half away from me. But it's still technically a village.
Right, so I'll do another five minutes on the stream so it says 40 minutes on the elapsed time and then I'll um, call that a day. What do you mean, what is the German uniform called of World War Two? They had different types. And they had, like, um, obviously the camo ones, like Oak Leaf and 44 Dot. I've already told you eBay, so I don't know why you keep asking me. Uh, I don't actually know which one you mean that's just green. I know they had like a slightly green sort of grey sort of field uniform, but I don't know what the name of it is. No, that's the thing. If if I saw videos on them, Richard, and they actually turned out to be good, then I'd sort of think about getting one, but... Um... You know. I've never actually seen any videos of people testing them. Yeah, I don't know what the normal Wehrmacht um, uniform's called. It probably has like a name like M and then a year or something, a name that I don't actually know. So, I mean, I've got the armadillo shield, which is good, but, um, you know, I, I wouldn't really trust the Chinese. Um, ones where I'm actually seeing a video, you know, to prove that they actually work. Alright, cool. Is it one that actually ships to the US? Ah, good. You've got buyer protection on eBay as well if it doesn't turn up. Now, if it's made to the same standards as Western ones, um, good. If it's the stuff where they've just put aluminium in there that's meant to be a stab-proof vest, then obviously bad, and it shouldn't ever be sold as body armor. Yeah, stuff like that, Richard, that I'd worry about, where it's not the proper materials, like we're saying aluminium instead of proper sort of steel in stab-proof armor, or, um, yeah, acrylic instead of polycarbonate. Yeah, I've got a few World War Two helmets and things. I've got um, I've got a German World War Two Iron Cross as well. Russia's got a few masks they use currently. Um, I mean, I think it depends if it's like reserve troops or whatever else, because they've got the PMK series for most of the army. They've also got those disposable masks that are like charcoal inside a um, fabric layer. Well, if you mean like nuclear weapons have changed how wars would be fought between modern sort of nations, I guess so, but that doesn't mean a conventional war can't happen. Uh, this is French camo. I think they call it Central European pattern or something like that. I think the name of the uh, like shirt is F2. Um, a few years ago, Sebastian. Probably around 2011, I would guess. 2010, 2011. 
Um, I wouldn't recommend the GP4 for survival use. It, it's an alright mask if, to look cool if you wanted to use it for cosplay, but not for, um, you know, serious use. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. Anyway, I've gone over the 40 minutes now, so, um... Uh, yeah, we've been talking about that for, like, the entire stream, that there's been two for whatever reason, because, um... Uh, well, with di it depends. If you mean pixel and modern camo, that's just the pattern. But um, if you mean actual digital, it means it's designed using computer programs or algorithms rather than actually, um, you know, if that makes sense. I've done videos where I've talked about it in a bit more detail, but I'm finishing off this stream now. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. For whatever reason, this particular stream seemed to attack attract a load of trolls at the end. I don't know why, but I've just done the... Um, you know, regular thing of just hiding them without acknowledging them, which seems to work. But I think, as I said, this stream's about finished now.